Welcome Bro to another crazy. episode of Savage Time TV. I'm your host, A.B. Brizzy. Today we got friend of the show, back at it again, Yanni McFly with us. How Word. you feeling? Nah, you know, I'm just happy to finally be here, man. Niggas you, owe me. You niggas here. owe me. You, you know, was man, here the first time. Wax, you man. was first. You niggas top five. These niggas busy as hell, man. But you Use know what I mean? Intro, I'm back around. Look, look, look. That's not how it is, y'all. Y'all know, <laughs> y'all know she, was, she literally was one of the beginners. <laughs> One Word. of the beginners on the platform. Word, yeah, it's, it's glad to have you back up here. Everybody's Word, been so busy. busy You're booked up so crazy. Concept crazy. 21 is just going off, man. Tell us about yeah. that. Just how, how you been? How everything's how everything's going? It's been going great, man. I can't complain. It's been good. You know what I mean? Studio been booked. It's been a blessing. A lot of great people. Meeting a lot of great people. Connecting, building a network. So you know much I mean? you had to take. Yeah. You had to take off, huh? Yeah, three days. You know what I mean? Don't tell nobody. By the time this come out, I'll be back to work. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> By this yeah. time, you be back to work, man. But it, it must feel yeah, good man. to just be able to. At this point, because I remember when we first started, don't get me wrong, you was always, always buzzing, but I remember you had just started. Again, uh, congratulations on the year. I know you had Thank the you, year uh, last year. Thank you, yeah. But um, yeah. how does it just feel for that growth, just to be able to go from where you were to where you at now? Amazing. You know, when you put your mind in shit, and you should know this because both of y'all are driven dudes. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when you strategically set goals and then you watch yourself achieve every step of the goal, like before you reach it, mm -hmm. it actually pushes you to complete more things. You, It's like, it feels good, but it's also like predictable because you knew you was going to do it. You right. know what I mean? Like every, every goal I had set, I watched myself reach like... Because it's on paper. I'm writing it all down. I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, okay, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I got to do that. And all of this is going to lead to this. So it's like every time I reach a goal, I'm reminding myself that I'm going to do it anyway. So it's kind of like not even surprising. For real. No, no, <laughs> no. no. I understand. No, no. I completely understand that yeah. because it's like you kind of don't want to feel away, but it's like, nah, I put in the work. You know? Like, like I like one of my boys said my boy Nav shot to him. He's like, not even that. That's not that. Definitely wasn't Nav. That was definitely Big Sean. My bad, bro. <laughs> Big Sean his last Detroit album, bro. He said, I don't hope for wins. I expect it. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, nah, and, that's, for sure. and I feel like a lot of people that do win, that's how they they think. Cause you can't hope. Cause I feel like if you're almost hoping for a win, you kind of you might have cut a couple corners. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You might If you guessing, you guessing. Yeah, you know what, you, I mean? you know what I'm saying. I ain't so, never guessing. I know what's gonna happen. You know, but I I will say. Um, the love, like the abundance of love that I actually been receiving outside of just like business, like like genuinity from people that like really appreciate the studio and what we have to offer, that's been crazy. Now that I, now that was unexpected. You can know you what I mean? About, can you talk about like, more about that, please? Like um, like a lot of the youth oh, Sam, are in the studio. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like 17 to like 25. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are familiar with like the camera. Now you got some guys that come in and they know what they're doing, whatever. But some guys don't. So I have an opportunity to learn and grow in a comfortable space and then also um, be considered and respected as a professional. You know, I treat them all the same. I'm your assistant. I come in, you, I make sure it's right for you. I let everybody know that you are the guy. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like, I feel like because of that, it's been giving a lot of them a lot more confidence to like to stand inside of their titles. Stand on their square yeah. a little bit more. Like, yo, I'm a photographer for real. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they really feel that inside of their, that, like, hearing that always, like, yo, Yanni, I really appreciate, like, you know. I mean, yo, my, my homie Isaiah tipped me the other day. <laughs> like, yo, he came out, gave me a handshake, he had 10 hours in it. <laughs> like, yo, all right, man, we're like, it's been like real love. You know what I mean? I will say that was surprising. Okay. And I'm grateful for that. Like, That's dope. That's dope. So you definitely yeah. are spreading your influence and making changes. I remember we were talking yeah. about that before. You, God, I feel like with that studio, with any studio, you make you make you know make dreams come true. You make visions come to yeah. life. Yeah. You know what I mean, um, let's get into some of the work that I saw. That I thought was interesting. I saw you was doing the um, the black and whites. Yeah, they those was crazy. dope. Could you tell me about talk about the creative process that came into that? You know me, bro. It's like if it come, it come. I do. That's how it go. It's like. Boom, bang, done. You know what I mean? It ain't even really no process. It's just mm -hmm. like, yo, I want to take texturized pictures of people and I want to get in a portrait. I'm a wing that. I'm good at damn near everything I do and I'm not afraid to fail. So it's like, fuck it. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go all in. And it's been booming. Like Now I'm like into the portrait photography heavy. like, And really it's the texture that booms it. 
You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, those black and whites, they just look away. The texture's crazy, right? I'm like, it looks, yo. It just, yeah, I can't describe it really, it, the texture, it just looks away. I got to take one of y'all. You can come on, I, I take oh, some portraits yeah. of y'all, man. Yeah. I'll give you that. You already know. Like, yeah. And I'm going to make a book out of them. Oh, and okay. it's just going to be all faces, like portrait faces, like mm -hmm. every single page, like a huge portrait face. You know what I mean? Because cool. they just been coming out so crazy. They have. I was looking at them. ain't even no lot. secret to it, bro. It's just like, psh, Damn. Did it. it? I just try to stay creative. That's really what it is. It's like, yo, I got to create. I have to get ideas out when they come. They have to come out. If they don't, then I'm, you know? Yeah, yeah. you feel off for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I don't know, it feel like baggage. But it's weird because when I don't have ideas, I feel like heavy. You know what I mean? And you would think it'd be the opposite. Right. Like having a lot of ideas would make you feel heavy, but nah, it really actually makes me feel lighter. But when I feel like I'm overthinking everything I'm trying to do, I'm like not myself, you know? Mm, not nothing in the flow. Yeah. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about your LA trip. I seen you out there in LA. It looks like Los Angeles is down there to become a part of Yanni McFly. I'm like, yeah, you I'm stay like out LA. there doing Listen. some. You talk about some of the projects you did while you were out there in LA? Just the I worked trip? with my boy Near on the um, New Era project. That was crazy fire. I took some pictures of some dope people out there. And now I've just been trying to build um, relationships out there, like build foundation out there so that I can move back and forth around out there, you know what I mean? Okay. That's really the mission right now is to go out there and link with like like my man Young Sino. Gotta okay. check him out. I met him through Near. We went out there, he took us to watch. They took us to watch. Yo, the accent, yo. They like, yo, hey, we like, yo, we better go to we about to go to watch Tires. Niggas like, yo, you know it's some real shit happening over there and shit. So my man got on the um Yankees hat. Mm hmm and that's like a thing out there. Like you can't wear that shit. I got on a blue LA Dodgers hat, but you know, I, I'm Dodgers. thinking, yeah, it's LA. So they're like, yo, you cool with the LA hat, but you with the Yankee hat, you gotta let that shit off. So my man wasn't trying to take the hat off. Long story short, he ended up taking it off. But my man Cena was like, yo, hey, hey, I got the blower on me. <laughs> Yo, I got the blower on me. Yo, when he sound said like that, Vince, yo, sound like Vince Staples and shit. Yo, when he said that shit, I was like, damn. We in Cali for real. For real. That's when you feel it. Like, yo, yo I'm really it in the It felt like, yo, and I looked up in the sky, it was like palm trees and then a fucking helicopter flew through. Yo, it was crazy. It was like a fucking movie. How does it feel being out in LA just in? Because, like you said, I've been to LA. Um, I've been out there, but I haven't. I think it's different. Um, like when you're experiencing how you were experiencing, you was really on the ground going through uh, in Watts. How did that, like, how did that really feel? Like you said. Crazy. When you hear, it's I'm crazy. really out here. Did so you? much culture. Yeah, culture. So much, like, energy and, like, just, like, diversity. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, um, it's incredible, man. Like, I, I've never felt a city like that. Like that. You can like, feel that. Like, I yeah. try to tell people when you travel, there's some places you can go. You can literally, it's like you can feel, it's like, like. Like shit's just going through you the yeah, whole time. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's how, and I took the scenic route everywhere. Like we drove never on highways, just always through the city. Like, yo, it looked like GTA. Yo, I got checked by a trip uh, by a crip nigga. Nigga checked. Yo, me. tell me about that. How the hell? Yo, what happened, bro, what we out we out filming near my guy near. Shout out to Donier Cooper. He's a videographer and he's a fire guy. Check him out. You know what I mean at Donier Cooper. But um, he's like one of my best homies. You know what I'm saying? And we create a lot together. So uh, he's filming me. I'm in the middle of the street. Random neighborhood, right? We in the middle of the street. And we see shit happening. Niggas playing dominoes and shit. We just came from Roscoe's. Really wasn't tripping. When we were sitting at the Roscoe's parking lot, though, a bull pulled in and he waved to another nigga. He was like, threw the shit up. <laughs> we like, oh shit, that's a grip nigga. So we pull off looking for a spot anyway. Get out the car. We start filming. All we hear is, hey, hey, what y'all doing over there? We like, yo, we filming a commercial. He like, hey. We don't want it on camera, homie. We we don't want it on camera. Some shit. We like, yo, what? Niggas like, what? <laughs> you like, wait, what? We just. I'm like, yo, it's just course. a. Uh, he like, nah, man, ain't no filming over here, homie. Like, shoot, niggas, like, was for real, yo. This nigga was standing, right hand, yo. This is not a lie. This nigga had on all black, with some blue gazelles. He had a high top fade bald all around his side with two uh, hair and bone chains, yo. This nigga was standing with his feet like this. <laughs> Put his fucking hand behind his back, yo. Real fucking G nigga shit. I ain't never seen no. It was like a movie, dog. Like, yo, real live. <laughs> My man was standing, boom, boom, legs touching all the way together. <laughs> his cast was touching in the back. Yo, bro. 
<laughs> like a Tell fucking movie. The fuck on. That was crazy. Got Nier loved that me. shit. Yo, my nigga Nier, he loves that shit. Like when he is filming, he likes to be in the shit. You know what I mean? He's like a real documentary <laughs> type of nigga. <laughs> he turns to face. Don't film nothing. <laughs> Yo, right. This is type John Hero. He like, don't film. Wait a minute, nigga. He like, shit, you about to get filmed since you so authentic, goddamn. Yo, I'm like, yo, yeah. Yeah, that was crazy, man. I I loved it, though. Did y'all end up leaving or y'all just ended up leaving? Yeah, we ended up peeling out for sure. You know what I mean? (laughs) I mean, look, man. No, you got respect where you at. You got respect. Come on, I got the blue hat on already. Like, I don't want no smoke, man. I don't know nothing. Like, I'm not from gang culture, you know? That gang culture is different, man. That shit's real And I ain't never seen it for real. Like, like here, you see a lot of gang culture, but it's not like what it is. Like, this shit that's out there, this shit's for real. Yo, my man walked in Roscoe's with a fucking bandana on, a blue bandana uh, mask, it was to the floor. What? He had a blue band and a mask. The shit dropped to the floor. He got out the car. He gave everybody this. Niggas shook up. Yo, it was like we was in the fucking muck of like the Compton out there, motherfucker. You was out there. Did you sign to the crazy. Nipsey room? Yeah, but it was uh closed down. Like it was all boarded up and shit. You couldn't even get to it. You couldn't even see it. Like that shit is unfortunate, man. Because people, yeah. man, yeah, that shit's unfortunate, bro. But you yeah, that was definitely L.A. That sounded dope. So you uh, talk about the importance of uh, networking, of just within, especially the creative uh, lane. For like sure, how important network. it is to for creatives to it's link up. It's the most important. Okay. You know, it's the, I mean, it's it's everything. You know what I mean? Uh, the, that's really what the studio is for. In my eyes, that's what it was built for. It's, it was, it's like a clubhouse. It's like. It's like, oh, shout out to Clubhouse. You want Clubhouse? Yeah, I actually am, but I don't fuck with it. It's a bunch of yelling back and forth. Niggas is <laughs> niggas like, yo, one mic. One mic, one mic. One mic, one mic. I be listening to niggas. Pause on this. Clubhouse is a place where people who know nothing can know everything. And I don't fuck with that. Right, right, <laughs> right. My like, girl really try to tell you some shit. Like, yo, chill out, bro. Like, like my nigga, what you, we in seminar or some shit? It's a TED talk? What the fuck is you doing? Like... <laughs> You trying to teach me about life in a fucking chat room? Like, you tripping. Like, nah, that's... that's Respect me to pay it. <laughs> Niggas trying to make money. Yes, but one time, I, man, listen, they had a moan room. Slid in that joint, bro. They was paying these joints to, to moan in them rooms, yo. Bro said in them rooms they was moaning. Yo. Oh, my God. Going yo, I tell you what. A perfect nigga will get in any market. Motherfucker will find some money and some shit. I'm trying to tell you. Like, yo, we in Clubhouse now. Look, follow my only fans. She moaning on here. If you like that moan... Subscribe to the OnlyFans. Facts. <laughs> Yo, what do you think about the OnlyFans craze, man? Like, it's not the craze, but it's more been on the up and up. What you think? What you feel about the OnlyFans thing? I mean, I'm a hustler, so I gotta respect it. It's like, you know what I mean? Do do what you can, do what you will. Your morals is your morals. I ain't. You know what I mean, but you can do anything on there, though. That's the thing. You don't necessarily gotta be. Doing... You can cook. So exclusive recipes. Now everybody ain't doing that now, and I mean, a woman's choices are her own. Right. You feel me? It's mm-hmm. like if you gonna get if you gonna get your bag and and you chilling and doing your thing and, and regardless of what anybody thinks of you, because people think shit of me all the time, you can't be like fuck what people think. Mm-hmm. You get money. You saying you making 10, 20 racks a week, who am I to tell you now? Nah. Really I'm thinking like loan me a couple <laughs> <laughs> right. You made how much this month? What you said you, you made? made 25 G's. Look, man, just throw a little picture up there. Tell them I got Prince for sale or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, put me in the mix. Like. A matter of fact, that makes me think now, um, with the crypto thing we were talking about before and you being a creative artist, have you have you thought about uh, NFTs? Yeah, somebody just taught me that the other you, day. Like, let me tell you something. Somebody just told me about you that. You and Devontae. Yeah. Y'all need to get on that. Somebody just was teaching NFTs. me the game of that. Yep. Because it's like where you put your shit, right? And they yes, sell it. Yes, and you and make it. It's a digital, coin. it's a digital non-fungible token. That's yeah. what it stands for. Non-fungible token. Right. And basically it'll make it so that, for example, say you make your black and whites, mm-hmm. right? Your black and whites, you come out with it, and it's not an NFT. You just put it out. You give it to me. Mm-hmm. I buy them. Then I give them to Devontae. Devontae give them to here. Here to here to here. Sooner or later, it's hard to track. Where it's at, if it's truly an original, is this a duplicate? Okay. Same thing with art now from okay. like back in the day with like right. famous artists. I'm not gonna sit here and try to name off artists. I know what you're saying though. But you understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying. With non fungible tokens, everything is recorded. So there's you have the original, so you can make it so you have your original, then you make a copy, you make some copies, then you send them off, but you'll always have the original. Yeah. Also, if you give it to Devontae, Devontae gives it to me, I give it to someone else. You only get money when it goes from you to Devontae. 
Oh shit. With an NFT, you get it every single time. Every time and move around. Every time and move around. You get yeah, the Yeah, I get into that. And for people like y'all that make art, it's perfect. It's nah, perfect. For sure. And I've been finding I've been trying to find different ways to um monetize innovatively. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like I feel like with the socials and with all the different ways to like put yourself out there, it's a lot of watered down, repetitive, um, like Bullshit. approaches. You yeah. know what I mean? So I've been trying to figure out a way to do it in a way that um, is unique. You not only make twenty one of everything. So anytime something comes out, it's only twenty one of them. It's gonna be twenty one prints, twenty one books. Real? Yeah. What's the reason behind that? I didn't even know that. What's the well, you know, twenty one is my number because it's concept twenty one. Yeah. What, yeah. What's up? Yeah, but yeah, then my grandmother. We were really close. My great grandmother. I never asked you and this. her birthday is April twenty first. Actually, tomorrow. You know what I mean? She okay. passed away and shit. But um, That's she prayed for this shit. I mean, you know, who I was is not who I am. You know what I mean? And she prayed every step of the way. This wouldn't exist without her faith, for sure. She seen this. She, you know what I mean? She believed in this. So like, twenty one is like mandatory and everything. And it's exclusivity. You feel me? Oh yeah. Like so I don't want everybody to have access. Scarcity. To scarcity. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, you got look. You got to get in the NFTs because yeah. you're already there. Yeah. You're already there with it. You might as well make and some And I money. treat everything like that already. Like even access to me, my person, like in physicality, I'm not even giving that to everybody. You know what I mean? Or So it's like, I don't, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely trying to figure out a way to do it. Like that, that'd be fire. I got to yeah. fuck and with Yeah, and them NFTs for real. We're going yeah. to talk, talk about it. Um, talk to me about the Barney Rebels. Crazy. Just another thing. Winged it. Oh, Ooh, just winged it? Yeah, I mean... That's how creativity is supposed to be. You're not supposed to be overthinking it. I mean, it's like, in Bro's case, he, may, he might make a song. He ain't thinking about it. He felt the groove. He ran with the cadence. He's not looking for perfection. He's looking for expression. He just wants to get it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's all I ever am doing, man. When I make some shit and it's hot, you know, I ain't even thinking about if it's hot. Yeah, I'm past what it is as soon as it comes out of my mind. It doesn't even matter to me what it is after that. Mm -hmm. I let whoever decide that. I feel like that's so, for, for artists, I feel like you, is that something that you guys have to work your way up to, having that confidence to just, whatever I come out with, boom, put it out. I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to think about this. I'm not going to think about, oh, this ain't hot. Because I think about it, it kind of relates when people, I talk to people with clothing brands. Mm -hmm. I was talking to, shout out to my boy Kai Costello over there at Carmen's Place. He was telling me just how... It's easy to, when you come out with clothes now, to put stuff on the back. Yeah. Because that's the thing now. Clothes is basic. Yeah. So it's, it's like, so do you guys go through that same thing with creative, creativeness? Like, uh, I could just, you know, this is hot in the art space, so let me do this. Like, if there's certain angles, like, for example, if, if the hottest person is doing a certain angle, do you have the, do you ever feel pressure to sometimes incorporate those things because you know it's going to make it more hot? Um. I can only speak for me because everybody different, yeah. you know what I mean? And everybody's on different levels of like self-worth and self-love that they actually feel for them to execute anything. Me, I don't give a fuck because <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Fact. you know, I mean, think about it. I'm black. I'm gay. I mean, I dropped out of school, you know, like my, my life ain't never been typical i did some Cookie other shit cutter. but that ain't for this you know right. what i'm saying like it, it ain't so i don't fear shit and i don't fear the opinions of others and i live in my own truth you know what i mean constantly and regularly so when i'm creating i'm everything about me is me so my creativity just flows out as a like it's like i don't you know now if somebody's trying to be creative then i could imagine yeah it's pressure underneath of that but then if, if it flows out of you because you think and breathe it every day, like I do, which is probably what most people do if they really in it, it ain't nothing. Or Don't let the socials overwhelm you. It's the socials that fuck you up. I don't trip off socials because my life too lit in real life. Like in real life. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like right. the conversations we have, you're my friend. Like, nigga, you my nigga. I watch this shit come up. Like, I'm extremely proud of you, the, what you do. So it's like... This conversation ain't those conversations. You feel me? Right, right. Like we right, gotta right. keep it how it is for, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like that's kind of like how it is. I don't get into social. If I, if, when, we, when all the shit go off, and you my nigga, this is that's the realm that I operate in regularly. So right. when I put the art out into the socials, I already know it ain't what it's gonna be. 
Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. No, I got you. I'm picking. I'm, I'm definitely like, picking up what you're putting. Once down. I throw it out there, it's for the wolves, man. There you go. Okay. Now, if I call you before I drop some shit, like, yo, bro, this is, you know what I mean? What you think of this? Da, 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 da. That's really me in my vulnerable space, like. But even still, your opinion wouldn't matter to me because I already have my mind made up. I just want to know what you think. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay. All right. Yeah. Talk, uh, talk to me about. Um, I saw you was at the Carnegie Museum of Art. Can you tell me how that that was to walk Incredible. through there? You know, Andy, Andy's my guy. So it was. Oh, yeah. So, day. yeah, I didn't even like. So, I, I of course, I know it's a museum, but, yeah. I, but like, think of it. I'm real. I'm a clean. I really don't know shit about it. So, nah, could, you, could, you put me on, could you put me on to um, it, please? Andy Warhol is like Why one of my favorite artists. <laughs> You polite, man. Stop playing. You a nice, <laughs> you, a, you a beautiful, nice young gentleman, man. Come over to the ladies. Um, I'm letting you now know right now I'm not looking for no relationships. Um, it's a hot boy summer. And a passport and a passport is required. For sure. <laughs> That's just required. If you don't have a passport, don't, don't even yeah. look at bro. I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just saying being real with you. you know nah, but uh Andy Royal is my favorite artist. So um Shout out to Andy Warhol. Um, I've heard good things about him. I don't know much. I know he's... Oh, he's incredible. He's one of them guys who like just sees the art and everything. Everything is art to him. You know what I mean? And he never um, was trapped by any in particular medium. He painted. He screen printed. He did photography. He he elevated other artists. He 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 like birthed artists. You know what I'm saying? Like not just Basquiat, but like other artists, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I, I feel like Andy Warhol is like a representation of the energy that I'm trying to pull from. No no barriers. Like I use the world to make art. You know what I mean? It was incredible, man. Like I seen pieces in there I've never seen from Andy. Like I seen the Elvis joint. Yo, this joint is like I don't know, twenty feet long, like ten feet high. Damn. Yo, it's like crazy, and it's all screen print, like from the same screen. Like he just screened it once, and then screened it, screened it all the way until it faded out. Like I don't know, it was fire. It, it was, it was fire. I ain't gonna lie, you said screen print. I'm like, what? What's that? Um, like same way they do the shirts, but except. Oh no! Um, I'm like, damn, I sound stupid now. Yeah, no, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, because oh, you thinking ah, in art, you like, yeah, what like, the fuck? Am I, oh, like a teacher. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, got you. but the same concept. You know, what I mean, Andy Warhol was really good at that. I mean, he did everybody, you know what I mean? He did everybody. That was like a thing for a minute, the portrait screen prints um, that he was doing. Everybody, Aretha Franklin, um, Grace Jones, uh, everyone, Muhammad Ali. Um, like, he was like... He was really the... The nigga. And I where mean, is this located at? Pittsburgh. That's where Andy Warhol's from. Okay. Pittsburgh. So, like, that's his hometown. Damn, it's a, damn, so you went out to Pittsburgh. So you really went out there for that. Specifically. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You see that nah, picture you posted? Nah, up? nah, for real, for real. Fuck Pittsburgh. I'm a Ravens fan, so I was like, "Why are you nah, out there?" Nah, wait anyway? though. Nah, I'm a Pittsburgh fan, bro. I mean, I don't even like football, but if I liked it, that's who I like. <laughs> well, you know what? We not even go. We not even go. We just I can't go. even talk sports, but I'm. You know what I'm yeah, fuck them. For real. Yeah, nah, I was fired though, bro. I loved it, man. It was, okay. I went out there specifically for that. You know what I mean? Shout out to my baby. She took me out there. You know what I mean? Just on right, how's, it, how's it going? How's everything, man? Oh, man. Life is beautiful, man. I ain't got no complaints, man. Like, not one. Not one, man. It's, it's, been, awesome. it's been great, man. I'm really, um, I'm really um, where I'm supposed to be. Really and like operating. I said, I got mad, beautiful energy around me. Like, y'all, um, beautiful. all the guys. Definitely like, got we got 40 energy. members in the studio. It's That's 40 nice. guys. That's you know nice. what I mean? That's a lot of people. And, and I have, like, a genuine relationship with every one of those people, like... I thought that I was in this shit for like art and like business and like a space to create. But really like I feel like forces beyond me, I'm here for a different purpose. Like now nah, I'm here to like um encourage, mm -hmm. like to show capability through my own actions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause I keep it true. Like I don't I ain't you know what I mean? It's authentic. <laughs> I don't be on no uppity shit. You come on my shit, I might cuss. You might smell some. You know what I mean? Look, listen. I mean? <laughs> you know, what do you think of, how do you feel about creatives right now's spot in, in the world? Like, as far as how the world sees creatives, values creatives, how do you feel about y'all's place, our place in the world now? Oh, it's valid. We, we valid, man. It's like, if you ain't, if you ain't um, thinking of things from a creative perspective, you ain't thinking. 
it's too many ways to do too much shit. Now. And it's definitely. too many ways to um, reinvent shit. It's too many ways to make shit better. It's too many needs to fill. It's like right now, even with the pandemic and that whole situation, your ability to make money, you got to be creative. Creativity has branched outside of content. No, now it's about livelihood. Like You got to get creative to make money. You know what I mean? We pushing. Um, so now being creative is is an advantage. Yeah. Cause you, cause you are. If you're already creative, then it's like okay, then I can find ways to get lucrative with all this free time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And if you're not, then you are waiting on your stimulus check. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I mean, for real though, for real. You know what I mean? It's too many real ways, shit, man. Yo, it's too much real shit. shit. Shout out to uh, the stimmy. Nah, shout, shout out, out to, to the stimmy. <laughs> uh, we always talk music, man. We both love music. Um, what's been your favorite music this year? I know we was talking about the Conway the Machine. Um, how you feel? How you feel about that? I've been on Conway. Okay. I've, been on, I've been on a lot of R and B though, man. I'm telling you, I've been on my R and B. You know what I stumbled on? That is fire, and people are gonna hate me for this because of how I am and who I'm about to say. Solange Knowles. Yeah, nah, she's hot though. It was. I don't know what the name of the song. I mean, is. she ain't Beyonce. No, but that's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, Solange on hot. That shit was fire. Though. Yeah. I got that shit saved in my collection. Solange on hot. Shit, that shit hard. <laughs> of course, Benny the Butcher. Yo, but it's so low. No, if anybody could see, um, oh, <laughs> cause bro is so relaxed though. He got the fucking pink Dewey on. <laughs> He keeps stretching, like, yo. Bro, be chilling, man. We just, yo, all, you know, we just here. It's his world, you, you know what I'm saying? Mean? We just chilling. We just renting the space, you hey, know Hey, yo, I'm so proud of y'all niggas, man. Like, it's chilling. crazy, like, to see. Like, yo, you worked, dog. This is off topic and shit. I know we, but whatever. Nah, fuck Cut it. Shit. It's a conversation. But I'm saying, like, yo, you worked, dog. I remember you saying, yo, I'm up out here, sis. Listen, man, and they came in there with that heavy-ass jacket on and shit with that boot or that briefcase. Uh, motherfucking shit. Remember you used to come in from FedEx? Yo, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he mean, like, yo, look, look nah, sis, nah, look, man, I just bought this. Y'all bought this about the crib. I'm invested, nigga. I'm invested now. I'm, I'm telling you, you know what? I'm up out here. And then boom to this shit, bro. Yo, come on, man. Like, it's crazy. I know you don't talk much and shit mm -hmm. <laughs> behind the scenes, but yo, for real, even you too, B, man, just like all the interviews since the first interview, all the diverse yeah, people and how, how they are... Um, like your influence in the culture here is oh, like shit, really right. becoming like concrete. You know what I mean? Like if you ain't got this interview, then you ain't got shit. That's that's how you know what I mean. These kids want to get in here, like trying to save it, get it together to get with you to be interviewed. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm extremely we, proud we of y'all, man. Definitely charge. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying, though. Save like your best save your money. You know, I mean, I'm I just love saying. Y'all though, I love y'all. Yeah, nah, nah, it's love, it's business. It's, it's you guys support love, black love. business. It's it's um exposure. It's like, I'm I'm proud of y'all though, man. Like for real, it's like yeah, it's, we it's all, moving. We all move. Yeah, we all moving. It's great to see, man. I'm trying. That was off I'm, topic. I'm, I'm, shit, I tell but, people, I'm just trying to stay consistent. Yeah, man. I ain't concrete, seen y'all, so you know I'm I'm warm and fuzzy and shit. No, facts, facts, like, man. man. I ain't seen my facts. Boys. Um, what are your goals for the next? You know, just coming just for the next two three years. How? What are your goals personally, professional? Bigger facility, um, more space for sure. Trying to branch concepts from like state to state and make the membership work like in every state. So say you sign up in Delaware, you can still go to Charlotte and use the studio in Charlotte. You know what I mean? Mm. So we're really working on expansion right now and just trying to um, and like a bigger space here because there's so many members. It's forty guys, so it's like the time you, you might go on the portal and you can't even book a session because it's so backed up from everybody so to give everybody equal time we need a bigger space so really the first step is a new I went space. on that one time willy nilly thought i could just you know let me just put in something for two weeks i said oh that joint book for two months let yeah me go ahead and shut up yeah and get off and close <laughs> yeah. so i won't be going <laughs> yeah no nah, so right. it's just expansion bro and just trying to keep my um my own spiritual clarity and just my mind where it needs to be so I can do that. You know what I mean? Okay. All That's right. Really well it. again, thank you for coming to the platform. This was this was dope. Again, we got we got this special friend on the family. This is you family. Got the most talking this nigga to crunch down a motherfucking thing. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, that's what I'm saying. Listen, we, we, if you know me, you know I'm, listen, man, I'm spilling all kinds of shit around here. 30 minutes, listen, man, they know how to get me to say the shit I need to say. Exactly. <laughs> Clean me up real fast. Yeah, we got, we got it. <laughs> get it in a note, you know what I mean? 
That's probably on my rider. Like, yo, Yanni gonna talk soon. She come here in about thirty minutes, man. <laughs> then we going, you know what I mean? So her interview gonna be like two hours. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Nah, appreciate right, y'all though, man. Nah, it's nothing. It's nothing but love. Nothing but love. Yeah. It's Savage Time TV. I'm your host, AB Busy. We out of here. Peace.